In this video, you will learn linear sequence rule and writing a formula for the nth term of a sequence. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master topics on algebra, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, let's have a look at finding the nth term for this linear sequence. So we're going to find the nth term for this linear sequence, which is 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, and 17. The first thing we have to know is by how much is the sequence increasing or decreasing by. To get from 2 to 5, you have to add 3. To get from 5 to 8, you have to add 3. To get from 8 to 11, you have to add 3. To get from 11 to 14, you have to add 3 once again. And from 14 to 17, you have to add 3. So in this sequence, as you guys could see, this sequence is progressing by adding 3 each time to the term. To get from 2 to 5, you have to add 3. To get from 5 to 8, you have to add 3, and so on. Because the sequence is increasing by 3 each time, we're going to write the 3 times table underneath the sequence because it also increases by 3 each time. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. So once you've done that, the 3 times table can also be written as 3n. And if you guys are wondering why, well, 3n is basically 3 times a number. If n was 1, you would do 3 times 1, which would give you 3. If n was 2, you would do 3 times 2, which would give you 6. If n was 3, you would do 3 times 3, which would give you 9. And if n was 4, you would do 3 times 4, which would give you 12, and so on. So 3n is basically the 3 times table. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to find the difference between the times table and the linear sequence itself. So what we have to do to the times table, in other words, 3, to give us 2. What we have to do to 6 to give us 5. What we have to do to 9 to give us 8. What we have to do to 12 to give us 11. What we have to do to 15 to give us 14. And the same for 18 and 17. So what do we have to do for all of these to get the number above? Well, all you have to do is to subtract 1. And why subtract 1? To get from 3 to 2, you have to take away 1. To get from 6 to 5, you have to subtract 1. To get from 9 to 8, subtract 1. 12 to 11, also subtract 1. To get from 15 to 14, subtract 1. And to get from 18 to 17, subtract 1. So minus 1 is the difference between the times table and the linear sequence. Because we now know that minus 1 is our difference, we're going to write this next to the 3n to give us an answer of 3n minus 1. Because 3n minus 1 is basically the 3 times table, take away 1. And if you notice, that does make sense. The 3 times table is right here, and the linear sequence is basically 1 taken away from the 3 times table. So that means the nth term is 3n minus 1. Now, let's have a look at finding the nth term for this linear sequence which is 18, 14, 10, 6, and 2, is to first see how much the sequence is being increased or decreased by. To get from 18 to 14, you have to take away 4. To get from 14 to 10, you have to take away 4. To get from 10 to 6, take away 4. And to get from 6 to 2, take away 4 once again. So in other words, the sequence is being progressed by taking away 4 each time, or subtracting 4. Because we're subtracting 4, we have to write the minus 4 times table directly underneath the linear sequence. So the minus 4 times table is just minus 4, minus 8, minus 12, minus 16, and minus 20. So once you've got the minus 4 times table, the next thing we're going to do is to write minus 4n. And if you guys are wondering why minus 4n, well, as we said before, because we're taking away 4 each time, we're going to write minus 4n. If we were taking away 3 each time, then we would write minus 3n. Or if we were adding 4 each time, then we would write 4n. Because it's minus 4, we're going to write minus 4n. So once you've done this, the next thing is to find the difference between the times table and the linear sequence. To get from minus 4 to 18, all you have to do is to add 22. And to get from minus 8 to 14, once again, you have to add 22. And then to get from minus 12 to 10, 
you have to add 22. To get from minus 16 to 6, you have to add 22. And to get from minus 20 to 2, you have to once again add 22. So in this sequence, you're basically adding 22 each time. So if you guys do want to know about adding negative numbers, I've got a video on that. The link is in the description below. So go check that out. So now we know that we're adding 22 each time. And all we're going to now do is combine this minus 4n to this plus 22. So we're going to write this as minus 4n plus 22. So that means our answer is minus 4n plus 22. Now, let's have a look at a different type of example, such as this one. And it says the nth term for a sequence is 5n minus 2. Write down the first five terms. So we know that the nth term for a sequence is basically 5n minus 2. So we know that it's 5n minus 2. The next thing we have to do is to write down the first five terms. So we have to write down the first five terms, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You have to write down these terms to get the answer. So first, let's start with 1. So let's substitute this 1 into this n. If you substitute 1 for this n, then you're basically going to do 5 times 1 minus 2. And 5 times 1 minus 2, so 5 times 1 will be 5, minus 2 will give you 3. So the first term, in that case, will be 3. Let's move to the second term. If this n was 2, so 5 times 2 minus 2, 5 times 2 is 10, minus 2 will be 8. So write an 8 next to the 3. Next thing, what if this n is 3? So 5 times 3 minus 2. 5 times 3 is 15, minus 2 is 13. So write a 13 next to this 8. So let's move on to our fourth term. To get the fourth term, all you have to do is to substitute 4 for this n. So 5 times 4 minus 2. 5 times 4 is 20, minus 2 will be 18. So write an 18 next. And finally, you have to find your fifth final term, which means you have to substitute 5 for this n. So all you have to do is 5 times 5 minus 2. And 5 times 5 is 25, minus 2 of that will be 23. So our final term will be 23. So that means our answer is 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. So in this question, all we had to do was, because we have to find the first five terms, and the terms are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, we just substituted 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 for this n, and we found the answer. If it was for the first 10 terms, then you'd write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You would substitute all 10 of these into the n to find your answer. Now to learn more on algebra, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.